what's going on guys, it's your boy Scatino, aka Scat, and um, first of all I want to thank everyone for all the nice comments and everything about my videos that I was putting up yesterday, everybody, everybody who's saying you know, welcome back, good to have you back and all that kind of stuff, so thank you for that, really do appreciate it, um, so the aim of this video is just basically, obviously I've not put up a video in like the past couple of months and that, so um, I thought, well, maybe I'll just show off the kind of like games and that that I've actually been buying um, since that time. I think the last unboxing I put up was the Street Fighter Cross Tekken Special Edition. So since then, I think that the biggest, the biggest game I've picked up has actually been the um, Max Payne 3 Special Edition, which uh, cost me a fortune. So as you can see. It comes with like um, some DLC. I mean, I'm sure there's been a shit ton of unboxings on it anyway on YouTube. So like, come with a DLC. Come with like a, a bullet shaped keychain thing, um, the official soundtrack, that kind of good stuff. So hold on. So there's the actual game that I've been playing on PS3. And obviously, if you can see in the background, it comes with the Max Payne statue, which is pretty nice. I must say. I do like it, so that's Max Payne right there. Hope you like Buzz. Um, so what else been buying? Obviously, The Witcher 2 come out as well during that time period. I'm really enjoying this game. Um, it's pretty phenomenal, actually. I've not finished it yet. It's quite difficult, actually, in terms of like the combat and everything. It kind of reminds me of like, um, Demon Souls and Dark Souls. Not as brutal. You know, not as brut brutally difficult as them games, but you know, it's quite tough in parts. But yeah, we're we're enjoying that as well. Um, we also picked up the Silent Hill HD collection on PS3. Unfortunately, it is a bit of a letdown. I think you know the stories that you've probably heard about it are true. Um, you know, in terms of the graphical quality, the frame rate issues, and all that kind of stuff. Then it actually come out a couple of weeks ago that um, the people who were actually putting together the HD collection didn't have final code for the game. Um, Konami actually lost the source code for the game, so they were working with just bits and pieces of what they actually had. So the, they had to put that all together, which is one of the reasons why you know, it is a bit of a bad like you know update, really. Um, but... Hopefully they are going to patch it and get it, get it sorted, hopefully, and then I can get back to playing it. Um, some other games that I picked up were FIFA Street and The Darkness 2, I picked them both up. So, FIFA Street, actually, you know, I, I was actually impressed with the demo, some of you might remember when I actually put the demo up. I was pretty impressed, but the full game, um, I don't know, I'm not really enjoying that as much as I was hoping. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad game, it's just... Well, for instance, like all the best tricks are pretty much locked out to you at, at the start, and you've got to build up your character and level him up, and all this kind of stuff. It's kind of like, it has like those kind of RPG elements where... So, it, there's a lot of grinding before you can actually get to the actual meat of the tricks and everything, and all the good tricks that, you know, you, to help your showboat, so... Oh well. The Darkness 2 is a pretty good game, not finished it yet, but the art style and everything about it I love, the gunplay is really fun. Uh, what other games have I picked up? I, th I think that's actually it for games apart from um, the nice lady, the nice PR lady over at Warner Brothers actually sent me a review code for Mortal Kombat on the PlayStation Vita. So that was nice that I didn't have to pay for that game because I, I was looking forward to playing it. And that game's really actually good actually on the Vita, so if you've got one I'd suggest you check that out. Um, a couple of Blu-rays that I picked up first up was The Hangover, the extended cut, so that film is just absolutely hilarious, I love that film to bits. I picked up 300 as well, I've not actually opened this yet and watched it, I have seen it in the past but I've not seen it on Blu-ray. And the most recent one that I picked up was Warrior with Tom Hardy who, who I believe is playing Bane. In the Dark Knight Rises. Now, if you've not seen this film and you're a fan of mixed martial arts MMA, I suggest you go out and buy this film and watch this film on Blu-ray because this film was amazing. Um, I, you know, I heard good things about it, 
wasn't really expecting too much going into it because even though it says all the Rockies rolled into one, it's not it's not Rocky, it's not like boxing, it is like MMA mixed martial arts. So because I'm not exactly a fan of the sport, I wasn't expecting much going into the film. But I really, really enjoyed it. You know, some terrific performances in the film. Tom Hardy is just a great actor, so I can't wait to see him in The Dark Knight Rises. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, obviously, like, there's been stuff on um, the PSN that I've downloaded and that I've been playing through over the past couple of months. I've got another video coming up after this about all the PlayStation Plus content being released today. Um, you know, stuff that was actually announced at E3 at Sony's press conference a couple of days ago and everything. So, I'll be putting up a video of that, seeing what kind of goodies that we're going to get. So, hope you look out for that. And, um, yeah, so, you know, let's uh, start as we mean to go on. We're getting up these videos and that. So, yeah, that's it from me for the time being. Hope you enjoy. I'm your boy, and I'm out. Peace.